welcome back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can run this feral network worker node on a vps and be part of these 23,000 people that are currently running this node at any point you can see that the network have given out over 220 million points and we are less than 23,000 people that are running this node and yes this node is incentivized so you can see that on the document it says that fees node are incentivized with liveness point and stuff like that that is non-transferable that those points will correlate to the sphin token on the rtg which is like around q1 of 2025 so this is a detailed guide on how to set up their node but before i proceed instead of you just waiting for me to make content and upload on youtube you can just follow me on twitter with the link below and you'll be able to get the latest crypto updates on airdrop and any latest alpha that you need to know you can also join my telegram community and my whatsapp channel with the link below this video and by doing that you will get the latest alpha the latest node the latest airdrop update at your fingertips and also don't forget to like this video and drop a sub to the channel for more free informative content like this so now for us to run this feral node we need to acknowledge the hardware requirement so that we know the vps we want to buy you understand now remember that you can run spheres node with gpu and cpu but we'll be focusing on the cpu's part now on the requirements the minimum is 4 cpu core 8 gig ram 100 gig ssd while the maximum is 32 cpu core 128 gig ram and 2 terabytes so what we'll be doing is we have to go to contable and check for the vps that matches this requirement you understand so on contable you can see that this vps one did not match it because it says four cpu core but on the hardware requirement for fees it says four you understand which is that core matches it but the gig ram which is the six gig ram it doesn't match it it says eight gig ram minimum but this one is six gig ram so we are not going with that but on the vps2 six cpu core matches it very well you understand and 16 gig ram so that is exactly what we'll be going with 400 gig ssd which is vps2 is actually the best but if you want to run other node on top of this node you can use vps3 vps4 you understand also you need to acknowledge that contable is doing promotion with zero setup fee which means if you use the link below this video to buy vps you're not going to pay this setup fee you understand and this setup fee can cost up to eight to ten dollars you understand my point so use the link below this video to buy your vps and you will save that ten dollars so now since i'm buying vps2 i'll just have to click on vps2 then it will take us to this section whereby i just have to select the period of time you can select for three months six months 12 months and those period of time comes with their own discount but for the sake of this video i'm going to select one month then scroll down leave it on european union you understand then you scroll down to the storage type leave it on 400 ssd which is free then the image leave it on umboto 24.0 then come to this password section generate a password you need to click on the generated password now this is a password you will use to log into your putty you understand so what i normally do is i open my notes then save that generated password you understand so i normally save it so get my point so i would suggest you do the same then after i save it on your notepad or anywhere you just have to click on next now take note of the no setup fee which i talked about so we are not paying any setup fee in the course of this video then it will take us to this payment section now many people are complaining that their cards are not working although i suggest gray card but there is one that you can use crypto to pay which is when you come to my telegram community there is this video i will also link down below so you can just get the video straight up there's a platform called uh, onboard wallets where you can use credit card to make payments and those credit cards can be funded with crypto which means you just have to download onboard wallet verify and request credit card a debit card rather which costs three dollars you understand which is actually good you understand then you just have to generate an address whereby you have to send crypto into the onboard wallet then use the crypto to fund the card you understand then you use the card to make payments on contable 
So it's actually easy. So you just have to link down below. So when I come back to my contable, I can actually switch it. But for the sake of this video and what I've done before, I'll just leave it, then proceed to my payment. So you just have to give it some minutes for it to load up. And you can see that my order has been made, $12.5. And my grey card is working fine. So for the next period of time, I will not be thinking of changing any card. But if you know that you cannot get grey, you can just follow the process in that video on my Telegram community to get a card that works best for you. As a new user, when you create a Contable account or buy a VPS, they are going to send you more like three to four emails. So one of those emails will request for you to upload your full name, your last name, your city, your phone number, and your valid ID card. That is to authenticate your account, you understand my point? So all you just need to do is to reply that email with your full name, your address, your city, your your passport or your national ID card, then give it some time. Maybe you can just put some kind of write-up that says you need this VPA ASAP and within a few minutes you'll get a response. And after you get that response, that is when you'll be able to log in to your Contable account, you understand my point? So when you log in back to your account, you'll be able to see all your VPS reports. What I normally like doing is I copy the details of that VPS, then open my notes where I paste in my my password before. I just have to paste in those details so that if I need to copy any details and paste it anywhere, I will not stress myself that much, you understand? So I just have to set up the, the details. Now the next thing is to come back to the documents, which I will also link down below. Then on the setup system, you need that. You need test Ethereum. So you click on that link there, testnet faucet. Then it will take you to the Sephorion faucet, you understand? So there you just have to leave it on Ethereum. Then enter your EVM address, which is your Ethereum address. Then I'm not a ro robot, rather. Then after that, you click on send tokens and wait for it to load up. Now you can also get faucet if you have Arbitrum Sepola, you understand? You can just request Arbitron then use the bridge to bridge tokens which I've already done also you understand my point so so after you have gotten the faucet you need to come to this fees.sephoria.network website whereby you need to register your node you understand so this is exactly how it looks like you can see that we are currently maybe not more than 23,000 people that's running this node but there's an NFT that is capped at 25k so you need to register fees node you understand and for you to do that you need to create an account so you can use gmail or your github and after that you register a node by connecting your wallet you understand so you connect your metamask then you just have to click on the details that they will request for you to set up your node although i've created this my node three days back but it's not active. I've not actually set it up. You understand? I just have to create it then. That's why I can see that it's inactive because I'm not running the node. And I'm going to show you everything. So now, in the process of you setting up your node, you can just fill the details correctly. Like this country parts, I'll put it. I'll put the location of my IP address. You understand? So I'll come to that in in the moment. For for the meantime, we just have to set up our putty you understand so what i normally do is i uh, open putty you understand i'll come to my document because this is where all the details i need are so i will just open my computer type in putty if you don't know how to install putty you can watch my previous video it's actually easy so i copy my ip address then paste it now click on selection and put it on clipboard remember don't forget that part you need to put it on clipboard so that you'll be able to copy and paste you understand so after that i enter root then i enter this password you understand that i generated while creating the vps then i control shift v then it will show me this contable stuff once you show me this contable stuff then i'm in so i will split my screen then the first thing to do before you run any node i think i've said it before that the command you put before you run any node is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade dash y this is to update and upgrade the server you understand so you can just copy and paste and one thing i like about contabo is that the vps is all actually updated to accommodate any command you understand so that's why you can see that it's done it's done because most of 
the servers are already upgraded you understand so you just have to copy and paste and you can see that it's done the upgrade is done so what i will do is i will copy this install docker command from the left and paste it inside the server then wait for it to load up and this is actually installing docker right now it's going to take some time depending on your network speed and your network connection so you just have to wait for it it's going to take up to like three to five minutes but you just have to wait for it then after that this section you just have to type in y so on your keyboard you just have to press y and enter then you wait for it to load up again it's going to take another two minutes or three minutes depending on your network connection you understand so you just have to wait for it now when it's done you don't need to follow this guide that these people have so the next thing is to register your 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 node on the fees website on the sephiron website you understand i would suggest you don't follow this their guide because the node updates have been updated which means you can actually run your node without even downloading any documents or any image now on the fees sephiron website since you have already created our node you just have to leave it but for me i need to update my node because of the errors i made so i'll click update node and on this section I will have to put the details which is exactly on what I bought on the VPS. So I will leave it on 6 CPU core, 16 gig RAM, then confirm the details again on my VPS, 400 gig SSD. I will just leave it like that because it's VPS 2, then click on save changes and I will pay the gas fee on my MetaMask. I just have to wait for it to load up. It's going to take some time you just have to wait for it to load up now remember that you are paying the gas fee on the sephorion network test nets you understand so i approve then confirm the changes that i made you understand then yeah it's done so the next thing to do is for me to change the country now the country is nigeria that i put first but you need to put the country on the ip address that you bought you understand my my point so my ip address is i put my ip address i look it up and it says netherland which is like germany so i was just based on my ip address i bought from with the vps so you have to look it up the display that says region you put netherland or the country of your ip address although some people can just leave it like that it doesn't really matter because the node we we correct itself but I just like making my things straightforward so i confirm the transaction on my metamax you understand it's, it's going to take some time because of metamax error or issues you understand but i know of the day it's gonna it's gonna work so you can see that it has been done then you can see that my node is actually showing inactive but that is not a problem by the time i'm done with everything the node will be active so now you can see that the region is now netherland the server is Linux, which is operating Linux. so you can just use this idea to set up your own node since you are setting up for the first time so you can see that my gateway is active and everything is done so what you will need to do is to click on generate command which is down below so you just have to click on generate command then you confirm it in your wallet metamax now these are the command that you need to set up your node not those one those people are telling that you need to install stuff like that although my node is already running no but i just have to rewind it so that i will show you so what you just need to do is to enter that first command which is install the sephiron cli you understand so you copy it then paste it it will load up it's going to take some time you wait for it then you click on this generate and start your fees node then you click on generate and start your fees node and paste it again that is when you will have to use your patience. It's going to take almost forever, up to like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even 40 minutes safe. But you just have to wait for it, you understand my point? So you just have to wait for it. And the moment you started seeing this part, although I'm skipping it all because I don't want this video to take three hours. So the moment you start seeing this part, knows that, yeah, the, the, the node is actually almost ready. So you just have to wait for it. Then it's going to load, it's going to load, it's going to take some time, it's going to, it's going to do everything that you need to do then the moment you start seeing this green just know that your node is up it's active now that means your node is up you understand so what you can do is you can now refresh that error message you are seeing there is because of the location you don't you don't need to worry it seems that nvidia is not installed that is not your problem you are you are doing cpu cpu you understand so you are not doing gpu so 
The moment you see this green, it means that your node is active. So you just have to wait for this green to be many. Then what you will do is on the left part, you click on check status. Now you can see that my node is inactive, but now it's now showing active. You understand? So it will refresh the node. It's going to tell me everything. You can see that I've actually earned 200 FN in just this few minutes that I just started running the node. And my phase one per error is 150 fn which is a point that we end for us to get the uh, tga token you understand so you can see that everything is now showing green my status is active now one thing you need to do is meet this lunar Fiza nft that is showing on the left which is on this resource tier so since your node is active you meet this nft it's capped at twenty five thousand people so which means that uh, if you're watching this video set up your node app meet this nft and you are part of this twenty five thousand K people although if you before you mean this nft is already over you don't need to worry they are going to reward you too you understand my point but i think that this nft is more of like a testament that you run the node but that does not really mean that your account will change so you can see that i've minted the nft in the summer point so you can see that you are the lunar visa so when i click on it it, it asks me for me to share and also you can join their if you mean this nft you can join their discord and get special rule you understand this lunar visa rule on their discord channel so that is exactly how you can set up this fees node on several network easily so if you know this video was helpful make sure you show it by liking this video and drop a sub to the channel and also make sure you join my telegram community and my whatsapp community so that you can get the latest updates even before i make any content which you can find all the links down below this video and as you might already know i'm dmo so thank you for watching and see you on my next video.